In these slides, we're going to talk about how the periodic table is organized, and it'll help you uh, as we move forward in this class um, in applying the periodic table to um, additional problems. All right, so the first thing you need to recognize is that the periodic table is arranged. So all the elements are arranged by increasing atomic number. So what that means is start off with hydrogen. That's the atomic number one. Has, every hydrogen has one proton. Then you have helium. has two protons. It's atomic number two. Lithium is three. Beryllium is four. Boron. Carbon is six atomic number or six protons and then all the way up as you see each successive box you end up with one higher atomic number or one more proton than the previous there are some terminology that we're going to use to refer to the periodic table that you have to understand so the first one is called a period and so that refers to a row in the periodic table that's from left to right and so if you look at the periodic table and by the way, this periodic table is expanded. Usually this section is cut out of it, so it's more condensed. The one you'll be using, the section will be cut out and put down here. Um, so uh, don't concern yourself with that because it doesn't affect how many periods there are. But on your periodic table, there are seven periods. Uh, the first period contains only two elements, hydrogen and helium. The second one contains lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, all the way up to neon. Then you have sodium all the way up to argon for your uh, period three. And then again, there's seven total periods. And so what this refers to are the number of energy levels. So uh, there are in atoms of that type of element. And so for example, you have uh, in period one, so if you're thinking of a hydrogen atom, it only has one energy level. And so energy levels, why they're important is because that's where you find electrons and uh, they surround the nucleus. And the more energy levels you have, the more space you have to accommodate electrons. So uh, by and large, the elements that you find in seven period here uh, have seven energy levels and that can accommodate way more electrons than your uh, first period, which is hydrogen and helium. Okay. Uh, the next terminology is group, and those are the columns in the periodic table. That's up and down. And so again, this one is uh, expanded. Usually this section is cut out and put below um, the one you'll be using. I'll show you one at the end that is similar to the one that you'll be using. But there are 18 groups in the periodic table. So here's group one, group two. Group 18 are the noble gases, 17 is the halogens here, uh, 16 right here, 15, 14, uh, 13, and I'll show you one at the end that also applies all the, you'll see all 18 groups very easily. And they tend to have numbers on top that number the groups. All right, the next thing um, you have to understand is that uh, if you were to arrange all the atoms by increasing atomic numbers, what you would find out is that you would end up noticing that the chemical and physical properties would repeat. And we call that periodic law. And if you were staying within a period, moving across a period, you would find that each successive uh, box that you would go on the periodic table, you would find that the chemical and physical properties would change if you were moving left or right. But if you stay within a group on the periodic table, that's up and down, you would find that the chemical and physical properties within a group repeat. And lastly, there's metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Those are the three major classifications of elements. And if you were to move across a periodic table from left to right, you would find that um, the elements would become less metallic and more non-metallic. So let's look at the periodic table. And this is the last slide. And so, like I said, um, your so this has it all color coordinated. So metals, non-metals, or sorry, metals, metalloids here that are green, 
and then nonmetals, which are blue. And so on the left hand side, you have your metals. On the right hand side, you have your nonmetals, which are blue. And as you would expect, right in between, smack in between, are the metalloids. And the metalloids have similar properties as metals and nonmetals. Um, there's an exception. Here, hydrogen is in group one. It's found on the left hand side, but that is a nonmetal. And so, um, your periodic table that you'll be using will look very similar to this. Um, as I said, there are seven periods. There are 18 groups. They're all numbered on this one, all in black here, all the way up to group 18 here. 